Hi everyone, Roel Dionisio here. In this video, we're going to go over configuring trunk ports on a Cisco switch. So this is my current network setup. I have switch 1, uh, 3550, which is connected to switch 2, which is a 2950. On port 24, on both switches, I have them connected to each other. And they're fast Ethernet ports. This is the diagram I'm going to be working off of on configuring trunk ports. So first off, what is a trunk? A trunk will allow multiple VLANs to transport between switches over that trunk link. Trunks can actually be configured in two ways, either using the Cisco proprietary ISL or using the standard space 802.1Q. ISL is proprietary in the way it tags VLANs onto the Ethernet frame. And what it does is it takes the Ethernet frame this is your original frame and when it's sending the frame across the trunk the trunk link it'll actually add a header at the front which is the ISL header and add in a new and a new trailer within the ISL header is where the VLAN number is placed Now with 802.1Q, the standard space, it doesn't encapsulate, encapsulate the frame. And what it does actually is within the frame, it'll insert a 4-byte tag. And within that tag is the VLAN identifier. So let's get into configuring the trunk ports. I'm currently consoled in to switch one. And if I issue a show VLAN brief, you can see port 24 is part of the default VLAN. Now if we take a look at that configuration for the port, it's actually set to switch port mode access. These commands were inserted earlier but what you can do is to verify if you have any ports in trunk mode right now you run a show command show interfaces trunk and it came out blank because I don't have any trunk active trunk ports so we'll enter interface configuration mode for port 24 and the first thing you want to configure for 802.1Q is the encapsulation mode and that's done by issuing switch port trunk encapsulation if you hit the question mark we have dot one Q ISL or negotiate those are our three options and we're gonna stick to 802.1Q because that is the standard I don't use ISL in my networks and you shouldn't either I would stick to 802.1Q now negotiate means it'll automatically negotiate a trunking encapsulation with the other side or the far end of the uh, cable. That is another option I don't use. I like to statically set my options. So we'll type in Swiss port trunk encapsulation dot one Q. Now that sets the encapsulation mode for the trunk interface, but that doesn't actually turn on trunk mode. Now to do that, you issue switch port mode trunk and that's it for configuring port 24 as a trunk interface now a couple of things to notice is now if you issue the show VLAN brief command again port 24 is no longer in that list and that is because the show VLAN command will only display access ports and not trunk ports 
if we issue the show interfaces trunk command now we're showing that port 24 is on for trunk and the encapsulation is 802.1q its current status is trunking it's allowing VLANs 1 through 4094 native VLAN is VLAN 1 by default so now we'll configure the far end so now I'm consoled into switch 2 and if we do a show VLAN brief command interface 24 is part of the default VLAN 1 we'll do a show run interface port 24 and it is actually configured as an access port. We'll see if there's any trunk ports on the switch by issuing show interfaces trunk and we have none right now. So let's go into global configuration mode go into interface configuration mode for port 24 with interface fast ethernet 0 slash 24 and since this is a 2950 switch if we try to set the encapsulation mode and I'll hit question mark here the command is unrecognized and that's because with this switch 802.1q is the only encapsulation mode we can use so you can actually bypass this command and go straight into switch port mode trunk to make it a trunk and for good measure we can disable negotiation by doing running a switch port no negotiate so now if we do a show VLAN brief again to verify port 24 is no longer on VLAN 1's default VLAN run a show run interface fast ethernet 0 slash 24 to see its configuration it is configured as a switch port mode trunk verify again with show interfaces trunk command and we can see that port 24 is on with using encapsulation 802.1q it's trunking on native VLAN 1 and these are the VLANs that are allowed to transport through this trunk link and there we have it we've configured two switches with with a trunk between the two switches a trunk link and now VLANs can multiple VLANs can transport between these two switches